What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install CUDA for PyTorch. Uh, the installation process is relatively simple, but before we start, you do have to have a compatible GPU to run this. So I'll leave a link to this in the description. It's a list of all of the NVIDIA GPUs. It's updated whenever there's new ones. If it's compatible, go to this website. I'll leave links to all of these websites in the description. This is um, CUDA download, so just type in install CUDA. First link, CUDA toolkit. Go through all of this. Windows, I have Windows 11. You could do the EXE network, and then just click this download. It takes a little while to, to start up, and once it's finished, I'd recommend you restart your computer because with mine it was having some weird graphical issues with the, the browser, so I'd recommend you just restart your computer. And then after that, so make sure you have Anaconda Navigator installed as well. I'll leave a link to the install. And your environments, all of your environments before you installed CUDA are not going to register your GPU. I tested this out. Uh, I'll test it out again so just to show you. So I'll just use reinforcement learning. I use this environment. And you'll see that um, once I start it up, you go to Jupyter Lab. I recommend you have Jupyter Lab installed for this. It'd make things a lot quicker and easier. So you just go to Jupyter Lab. I already have this test uh, notebook put up. You're going to have to install this, but we'll go into that after I show you this. So if you go in, you go through all this, import torch, and type in CUDA dot is available, it comes up false. Now, it already had true set up here because I ran this in an environment that I instantiated after I installed CUDA. But if you try and run, if you try and use your GPU, in a environment you've already created before you installed CUDA, it's not going to work. So now that we've got this all set up, you're going to want to go, well first of all make a new environment. I'm just going to use this test environment I made and you're going to want to go to PyTorch, click on PyTor PyTorch CUDA and okay that's not, that's not PyTorch CUDA. So you want to go to PyTorch CUDA. Here, it says start locally. And you're going to want to pick pick whichever one of these, Linux, Mac, Windows. I'm on Windows. I'm going to use pip. You can, you're, I'm using Anaconda, but you can use pip inside of Anaconda, and I'd recommend that. And then I'm using Python, and then this one. You're going to want to copy this command. So just copy that. And I'm going to go back to my test server, my test environment on Jupyter Lab. I'm going to relaunch Jupyter, the Jupyter Notebook to restart it. And you're just going to want to put, so you copy and paste this line, and then put an exclamation point at the beginning so that it runs in the terminal instead of in the, the thing. And it's going to go through all this. It's going to take a while. It'll take a while to install. Don't worry about it. And it's going to do all that, install everything. Then you're going to want to import Torch just to check to make sure it's working. And if you if you run these and um, you get back, see torch.cuda.is available. So now it says true. And that just means that it's available. CUDA is available to use and Torch automatically uses CUDA when it's available. But just in case you can do torch.cuda.currentdevice and obviously mine zero and then you can do torch.cuda.getDeviceName and if your zero comes up as something that's not a GPU for me this is my GPU if it comes up as like a CPU then I would recommend either making a new environment or restarting this environment just to check just to because it, it might have been some kind of weird bug you never know so um yeah, that's that's the install process. Torch it should work if you were to you know import everything else. Now that you've installed all the Torch and the CUDA, 
So if you, you know, wanted to make a whole project out of this, it would run on CUDA instead of, it would run on your GPU instead of your CPU. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.